This video is a presentation for the first critical question on how a sports injury is classified and managed. You'll notice that each of these circles represents one of the dot points, uh, ways to classify sports injuries, soft tissue injuries, hard tissue injuries, and the assessment of injuries. Now, when we look at the ways to classify sports injuries, the syllabus lists direct and indirect, soft and hard tissue injuries, and overuse injuries. Now, my three circles do not match up to those. Uh, I've actually circled them slightly differently. So I have how the injury occurred, because when you're classifying it, you have to put a classification for how the injury occurred, whether that be direct, indirect, or overuse. Uh, but I also have a section on what type of tissue is injured, which is your soft and hard tissue. And then you need to make sure that you put those two together in order to actually classify the injury. So how the injury occurred uh, can be direct, indirect, or overuse. A direct injury uh, results at from an external force and is always at the site of contact. So if a cricket ball hits you in the leg and gives you a bruise, that's a direct injury. And Or if you fall off uh, your skateboard and graze your arm or something, that also is a direct injury because it's happening at the site of an external force. Uh, I'll show you a quick video that'll give you an example. So you'll note here that it's a direct injury on his knee, it's a graze or an abrasion uh, is the technical term for it, that's occurred because of the force between his uh, skin and the road when he fell over. So it's a direct injury. We move on to indirect injuries now, which result from an internal force uh, and is normally away from uh, site of contact if it is any external uh, force. So if I fall over, I land on the ground, I put my arm down, I land on my hand, but then I injure my shoulder, that's actually an indirect injury because the ground is not making contact with my shoulder. Uh, instead, the ground is making contact with my hand and the force is traveling up my whole arm to my shoulder for the injury. Uh, another example is just a result of force that's uh, developed by your own muscles. So that could be pulling your hamstring uh, while you're sprinting. Here's another example. Okay, so now we move on to overuse injuries. Overuse injuries result from repeated stress without enough rest time uh, for your body to heal. So often whenever you do training of any kind, you do small minor injuries to your muscle and often they're good things because provided you have some rest, your body will then uh, repair those injuries and actually add more strength or uh, they'll work out what needs to happen for your body to adapt because of the stress. Uh, and yeah, that's a, one of the principles that you'll learn when you do improving performance, for example. Uh, if you have to learn about progressive overload and stuff, uh, that all comes into uh, what's happening here where any kind of training and stuff results in small, minor injuries to your body. But if you don't allow those small injuries to heal, uh, they actually just become, uh, they get to develop some more scar tissue, they become weak areas, they get re-injured over and over again, and eventually... Um, the inflammation response, the inflammatory response that's happening at that site ends up uh, providing a lot of pain and so athletes uh, are forced to uh, change their technique or to stop playing because of the pain. Uh, often overuse injuries can lead to larger injuries, so small minor tears like this that happen uh, maybe in your elbow or in your hamstrings or something can then result in a larger, more serious indirect injury like a full torn hamstring uh, because they're not treated. 
So if we have a closer look here at uh, Tennis Elbow. So here you'll see uh, there's a small little picture here that's got um, some minor tears and stuff in there at the top left hand side. That then leads to inflammation. Uh, if you allow, allow that to rest, that will heal itself and actually they'll put more fibers and stuff in there and make your muscle stronger. But if you don't allow enough rest time, then those small injuries just keep uh, expanding and the injury becomes larger and larger and the inflammatory response remains there. So there's constant swelling uh, and a constant uh, level of pain. And so that can lead to larger injuries like a full tear of your extensor muscles or um, you need to just rest and uh, go and get some treatment for it so that you have time to heal. So that's how the injury occurred. How it happened either direct, indirect or overuse. You then have to add to that what type of tissue was injured. Now there's only really two types of tissue in your body, soft and hard tissue. Now soft tissue injuries are injuries that uh, occur to any part of your body other than bones or teeth. Okay, so your ankle joints and stuff uh, tend to be made up of a bit of both. So uh, you'll notice that a sprained ankle uh, is actually a soft tissue injury and that's because it's an injury to your ligament and your ligament is a soft tissue because it's not a bone. Okay, so soft tissues, anything in your body other than bone or teeth, that's your skin, your organs, your muscles, um, your arteries, your veins, everything is soft tissue except for your bones and your teeth. Okay, so lots of examples of soft tissue injuries, sprained ankles, strained hamstrings, uh, contusions, which is the proper name for a bruise, or skin abrasions, which I've already mentioned is the proper name for a graze. So here you have a nice close look at an ankle uh, sprain, and you can see that the actual injury is occurring to the ligament, and the ligament is a soft tissue, and therefore it's a soft tissue injury. It's also going to be an indirect injury because nothing's actually hitting the ankle to cause that tear. It's a rolling of the ankle, and the force is coming from your body pushing down with gravity, and from the ground pushing up on the bottom of your toes. Okay, so this is an indirect soft tissue injury. We then have hard tissues, which of course are your bones and teeth. And that, so your hard tissue injuries are mostly going to be fractures and dislocations uh, and it will also include breaks to teeth or your teeth falling out. Okay, they're all hard tissue injuries. You can see some teeth down the bottom there and you can see the broken arm on the right. So you have to add those two things together and then you actually get classifications for real injuries. So here we have an example of a direct hard tissue injury. There is a force on the ankle which is causing a dislocation of the ankle. Okay, so direct force coming from that player's foot into the ankle causing it to dislocate. Okay, that's a direct hard tissue injury. We then move on to a sprained ankle and as I said, that is an indirect soft tissue injury. There is no external force, it is all internal forces. Okay, the force from the ground on your foot and the force of gravity above you are actually going through your body, they're not actually causing the, e the injury at the site where they are uh, producing their force. Here we have an example of an overuse hard tissue injury. This is a stress fracture. You can see a slight little bump and a slight kind of break uh, in that tibia there. And that is uh, caused by overuse. Small, tiny little breaks uh, that aren't getting a chance to repair lead to a larger break that then starts to cause um, pain and if we don't treat that it then means that the bone is weak at that point and if something happens uh, that's probably going to be the spot where you break your bone. So an overuse hard tissue injury. Down here a direct soft tissue injury, a skin abrasion always is a direct soft tissue injury okay because it's always a result of the concrete or the rocks or whatever it was, the dirt um, actually ripping parts of your skin off uh, always happens at the site of the external contact. So it's a direct soft tissue injury. And here we have um, a torn hamstring, also known as a, str a strain with a T, not a sprain, a strain. Okay, so a hamstring strain is an indirect soft tissue injury and it's always going to be that. You're not going to strain your hamstring because someone punched you there, you'll get a contusion, you won't sprain it. You won't strain it, sorry. So it's an indirect soft tissue injury 
It's a result of forces within your body that are causing uh, that tear to happen. So that's the ways to classify sports injuries. So we had a look at how the injury occurred, and that could be a direct, or indirect, or an overuse injury. And then we had to add to that what type of tissue was injured, so whether a soft tissue or a hard tissue. And then we looked at a whole bunch of examples of classifying injuries.